and Bay, and you come back to another interesting episode beckons my name is harriet teddy and as usual i am here with ahinewa so tonight on the show we are going deeper and deeper into sex in relationships and remember we don't want kids around do we you know what wait <laughs> <laughs> what's the topic for discussion again so tonight's topic was inspired by a, a post we saw online okay. that talks about how to ask for sex respectfully Whoa. yeah is this between married couple or lovers mm, i would say it's general i mean whether if you're a boy or a girl and you want to ask for sex or friends with benefits even situationship <laughs> i love that word situation I, you, I, I know right i know I that was my, my my best episode so far yes i know last week too yeah. I I you. bad girl <laughs> <laughs> bad oh girl. my god so yeah we'll, we'll discuss some top uh, comments that we had online in relation to the topic how to ask for sex respectfully that's the word respectfully because you don't want someone to say that you take advantage of them yeah. without consent so yeah. respectfully mm -hmm. so but before we, we do that there's this lady a Kenyan lady who says that um she she's describing the kind of woman a uh, man that she wants and some of the <laughs> the criteria is quite ridiculous in my opinion but let's take a look at it okay <laughs> types of men i can never ever date part two men who cook men who go to the kitchen men who <laughs> do any feminine duties oh my god that's a turn off because a man who is feminine, a man who can cook, a man who can wash dishes, a man who can even clean and wash the kids, oh my God, I can never ever do that. Reason being, he's weak. He's showing his weak side. So who is the man in the house? Who is supposed to defend us in that house? Is it that man who is cooking? That man who is washing dishes can never be me. If you want to date me, be the man you should be sit in the sofa give directions give instructions wait to be served so Ahinwa, oh, this yeah. lady is saying that mm -hmm. she doesn't want a man who cooks cleans she's just like me goes to the markets mm -hmm. and all that it makes you feminine she rather wants a man who sit at home and straps. yeah you know i bring me bring me a bowl to wash my hand I know. I'll go to the fridge. That's go and get me. Man. Go and get me water Hi to drink. It. Hi I know. I, Hi I want to bath. Come and that's, bath me. Oh, come, come See, come let's go to the washroom. I know. I, I don't feel. I don't feel Harry, like bathing. Harry, that's a man. That's a man. That's a man. Wow. Why should my husband follow me to the uh, to the to the market? Okay, see, let's take the market out. Why should my husband be around? See, my husband can just come into the kitchen, kiss me, touch me, play with the things I'm cooking with, <laughs> and then leave the kitchen for me. Once in a while, my husband can surprise me with some <laughs> breakfast. Not my husband being in the kitchen doing palm nut soup and fufu for me. <laughs> no. I think that is extreme. But you know, a man who will help in the house. Help how? You know what? Maybe you're pregnant and okay. things become tough. Okay. I'm, I'm sure you're going to say that you're going to have help in the house. Definitely. Yes. What about those that cannot afford to have Hi, help? You see, that's what I'm saying that. All other things being equal, there are some things, no matter what we say, it's not for everybody. Okay. Because some men are naturally supportive. Yeah. Even if you ask them not to go, they will they go. Will. Yeah. Even if you ask them not to do it, they will do it. Mm -hmm. I've seen men who clean their babies, who bath them, who they do everything in the house. But don't forget that sometimes mm -hmm. it goes against the men. Mm. When the woman becomes so comfortable, and you know that if a man is busy working, he can't do all of these. Yeah. So if you are not working and because of that you think you can help your wife do all these chores, the moment you get yourself busy, trust me, the woman is going to be comfortable with that thing if she is not wise and will go against you. I feel men should be men, women should be women. Spread me with the cash sponsor me give me the money and my guy mm. go to work come back home as the king that you are 
let's serve you of, of all the things you said i like that you mentioned that it's not for everybody yes it's not for everybody so this kenyan lady mm -hmm. is saying hers and i stand with her yes some others uh, will not agree with her do you want her. your man to i don't want him all over but i will love a man who supports mm -hmm. it might not be that he's going to help me clean and all of that but then providing a help for me you an example providing help for me i want to ask you a question yes ask away you are married to the group ceo of just one group of companies Ooh. mr joseph sam although he's already married yes yeah. that's what i'm saying yes example example this <laughs> man after all his kiddos comes home and enters the kitchen and cook for you it's oh no no in fact he, he, he won't even be it's able not practical to, so that's he has a that lot on his exactly. exactly so it's not for everybody let him go and cook <laughs> I like that. You should go to the kitchen. You should do everything. Do everything. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. Now it's back to yeah. the topic. Mm -hmm. So you know we did say that today's topic for discussion or tonight's topic for discussion was inspired by a post online how to ask for sex respectfully. And we picked about eight comments that we felt that okay. Mm -hmm makes sense and so before we go into it let's issue a disclaimer this is solely for married couples we are not encouraging premarital sex and all that but you know what i know what sorry it's enough yeah. about playing safe i'm telling you what to be will be I mean, <laughs> you get is, it this is a relationship you, and show, you see so yeah i love it's practical yes i don't want this show to be like talking 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 because mm. we want to talk mm. Is that the case? No. Nah. How many married couple are even having sex? You know, that's the thing. How many? People think that when they get married, they'll, it, get, they'll get a sex it, every day. No. No. In fact, no. Single people even have a more exactly. sex. Exactly. <laughs> so sometimes, for them to be at a safer place, we need to teach them a lot of yes. things. Yes. So that's sure for you, as <laughs> Boo and babe. <laughs> so let's, let's take a look at some of the comments. Okay. Let's take the first one. Uh -huh. And... Um, this one says, just keep eye contact. You will know if you're wanted or not. I know. Huh? <laughs> keep the, eye contact. The man I have, your eye contact will do anything to okay. me. <laughs> <laughs> so I think these things advise. I have a man who loves intellect. Yes. Sometimes when you're bringing new yeah. ideas to the home, trust me, turns him on. Mm -hmm. It's not about mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. looks and your body. Mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. him telling me that, hey, girl, you don't have any ass. Yeah. You're talking about <laughs> ass. Your ass is very small. Wow, to so sit down. Yes. <laughs> Those things means nothing to yeah. me. I love it because I'm very intelligent and hardworking. Yeah. So that's a, 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 a sapio sexual. sexual. Imagine you meet yeah. a woman or a man who is not romantic and that's doesn't know that when you look I at him, know. Uh, 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 it means I that you are talking about <laughs> he doesn't know that you'll be wasting your, your time. time looking at each other yes like, why are you looking I'm at me like what? that <laughs> come on so sometimes oh, guys when the woman is looking at you yes. like that it means that it means that like, you she know, wants it. I, I wish we could practice. Like, you know, they're looking in the eye. I right, teach them. So Okay, let's go. So, you look in their eyes uh -huh. first, and then you drop your gaze, uh -huh. and then you look at them again. Uh -huh. And this time around, you're looking at their lips. Uh -huh. So, as you look at their lips, uh -huh. then you raise your eye. Don't uh -huh. know your head. Okay. So you look them in the eye again. Then you come back to their lip. Uh -huh. Then you bite your lip a little. I mean, it just shows that you... That's you the body! <laughs> And you are just in a relationship. You are wasting. With all this. See, maybe, maybe my Mr. Right will see that I'm a body and then he'll come for me. Okay. How about okay. okay, let's go to the second one. And this one says that mm, a better question is how do you do it in a sexy way? Try phrases like, Can I would you like me to? Mm-hmm. There are also clear non-verbal cues in some instances. That is, if they start taking their clothes off, you can too. <laughs> this one there. I know why. If they start taking their clothes so, off. Okay, so this one, you're doing it with someone you know. There's sexual tension. I mean, last time we discussed that. Yeah. Sexual tension between you guys. So, if you, you find yourself in a close... 
All right, you know, I think that's space. the easiest. Yes, that's but the easiest. But what if after what undressing, if? the guy is not even and looking then he's at like, you? Um, what, what are you doing? What, are you do? <laughs> what do you do? What is it? Haven't you done enough? <laughs> but all right, this is crazy. You know that. Hey, but you take off your. No, no, no. But you're still but taking off your clothes when you know you have a banging body, you know you have a beautiful body. If your body is just like mine, don't go there, don't go there, don't go there, don't go there. It wasn't attractive, don't go there. But you know, he it says something. Attractive. You can ask, can I? Yes. Can I take off your, your shirt? But you know what? Men love bravery. Mm -hmm. So I think that if you find yourself in a room and there's sexual tension, you're like, I honestly want to kiss you right now. I, I, I cannot stop thinking about oh it. I'm looking at your lips, and it's so full and luscious. I want to take it back. Uh, yes! And then you grab. <laughs> grab. <laughs> 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 but don't you wait, please. <laughs> don't you, no, you should know how to kiss. Maybe another episode, we will teach you how, how to, to kiss. Because, you know, yes. some it's of us. It's a necessity. Yeah, some of it's us, you know how to yeah. kiss. So, anyways, uh -huh. <laughs> moving on to the next one. <laughs> Today is interesting, isn't it? Very. I love that. <laughs> so this one says, are you honey? Mm -hmm. You are. Cool, cool. Wanna? You know? Yeah, cool. You know? So it's like, you ask the question, are you honey? Are you horny? Yeah, Alright, this takes some extra braveness. That is why it's asking respectfully. And you have to be brave. If you want to have sex, you don't, you're you not brave. Then go and sit somewhere. Mm -hmm. Go and sit somewhere. Because if you find yourself with someone that i mean let's let's take a look at the context we are looking at yeah marriage mm -hmm. marriage couple they shouldn't be difficult right it is sometimes it is, eh? sometimes people are, after marriage they find themselves interesting or attractive again yeah and sometimes it's just because the women stop pushing mm -hmm. the women stop like i don't know they but, don't take care of themselves yes. and sometimes when you talk to married couple the things you hear somebody will even tell media, you that yeah. oh we after marriage because i don't remember the last time we had sex yeah. so like it hurts mm. sometimes ask yourself that as if i marry this is how it's going to be some of us we are brave it's not going to yeah, be like so whoever <laughs> is telling you that be brave be brave my lady <laughs> be brave be okay brave. so that is three there okay there's another one that is quite interesting it says mm -hmm. hello there would you like me to sex on you mm. This one, yeah. uh, how? What is that? Uh, Hello there. Would you? I know. Who said that? Who, 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 who said His name that? is Money Ma Manic Pixie. No, we are not taking that. Money Pixie. Please, what? Like, you find yourself in a room with a man, and then you tell the man, "Hello there. Can Hello I there. sex on you?" Oh, no, that's not respectful. You know, <laughs> no, 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 no. We, 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 not, we ain't taking that. Not at all. Not, not at all. That. So this one. Hmm, that, so that's the fourth one, and this one says that. I just touch her so she knows I want it. I like that. Touch her. And Harriet, you see, sometimes mm. not just about touching. Mm -hmm. There is a touch and there is a touch. I mean, you cannot just touch the woman her. like and anything. You know what? You know, like maybe you're in the kitchen and then he, he comes, comes and grabs your waist. Harriet, wait, wait. Oh, what's this? <laughs> 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 Do you know what I was screaming? Oh, yes. There is something about. Something, eh? No, 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 wait. no. Wait. Unfortunately, today. I don't have a romantic man. He's not romantic. <laughs> yes, unfortunately. He's watching. Oh, yes, he knows. Watching. He knows he's not romantic. Unfortunately, that's the Sexually, price. Sexually, not the other ones. I mean, he he buys his stuff and all that's that. That's what I'm saying. That romance is not only when sex. it comes to when it comes to what we are discussing. Uh -huh, okay. That's not him. Mm -hmm. So that's the price I'm paying. <laughs> so if you see me happy, know that there is a huge price I'm paying. <laughs> I can count the number of times. He held my waist, mm. like, mm, okay. Uh -huh. So that's, that's not his love language. That's not his love language. Probably he's yeah. not a physical touch person. No, he yeah. he's not. He's not. Yeah, so we're talking about um, touching the person. Yeah. Imagine you are in the kitchen, looking all sexy and yummy, yeah. and this man enters the kitchen, kiss your neck, mm. grabs your waist. And that ass. Yes, ta bang in your you eyes. Know, like you know the ass. There's a way you do it. You yeah. Do it like this. You do it like this. Hurry. Ta then they I think this go. show is supposed to be for the men and they should start paying us. Yes, they should. Start paying they are us. teaching you something. Yeah, here. it's just paying us. So it's not like pa. No, like this. Uh -huh. And sometimes it means the things you say puts the woman off. Takes her off the mood. Like I wish I could say some. Example. Very nasty things. Uh -huh. Example. No. <laughs> 
it's, 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 <laughs> ew. You got it. And, and when a when yeah. a woman's love language is physical touch, mm-hmm. she will always feel like you don't love it. Mm-hmm. But you might think you are doing other things, things yeah. but she'll always think you don't love it. Yeah. Yesterday, I heard somebody was cheating on someone, and the person was angry. I'm like, Excuse me, <laughs> what makes you think she's cheating on you? Yeah. You've always not been the one. Mm-hmm. Are you doing the right thing? Yeah. Oh, he has money, he bought her a car. You know, and I'm mm. saying, Sometimes it's not even about their car or their money. Yeah. Have you been doing the other things? Maybe you know. So, my guy, get to know what she really wants and do that. So okay. we're touching, touching it there. The touching is very, it's important. very important, and how you do it respectfully. Yes, yes. So as I said, in the kitchen, just there's a way you grab. I wish I could. In her to see, let me tell them this uh-huh. one too. Let's say in the evening, you just um, put on a very nice um, movie. Okay. No, no, okay. even with a, a guy, it's okay, a okay. movie. Mm-hmm. You get a beautiful blanket. You get her into the couch, cover yourselves with the blankets, be watching the movie, and by mm-hmm. the time you realize, you don't have to even talk much. You don't have to do much. Just like we said last week. Yes! You don't have to do much. You don't do much. You don't. Even having her inside, make sure the air condition is at the lowest. 16. Let's say feel cold. So she will pick yeah, that warmth yeah. from you yeah. with she, the blanket. And you. trust me, yeah. you are good to go. But some men are not so romantic. Like, at all. Oh. And you know what? The touching to you, you can just slowly put your hands in her bra or her shirt and grab the You get boots. it. Yes. And grab the It's boots. yours. That's what we're saying. It's, it's for yours. married, married couple. couple. Grab the it's boots. It's yours. You're like, oh, I miss this. Yeah. So, you know what? You can have pet names for certain parts of her body. You can call her boots my besties. Oh, gosh. I miss my best. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I love so, that. So, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Things are steaming right now. I, I know. Behind the scenes. I, mean, I really want behind the scenes. The men are like, oh my God. <laughs> These girls. girls are like, somebody's coughing. And, but that's the truth. <laughs> but this is not for you. Like, yeah. Ezra, this is not for you. Young boys, yeah. He's not for Anyways, you. Anyways, I know what. So this one says, a stylish camper. That's his name. He mm. says, can I have this in your farm? This is one of the words that I was telling. What can is, I, can I have this in your farm? As a man, if you like tell me farm. that, well, like trust farm. me. Well, like, like a farm. Uh, what kind of local language is that? Can I have it? Like, really? Try to translate it to chi. It's even worse. Let me me a bit a job or a fool. No. No, 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 no. We are not taking that. No, no, no. What, what do you mean that. by can I have a stiff farm? You're not taking that. You're not taking that. See, if you don't have words, go mm-hmm. search for King Solomon. There, mm-hmm. are, there are so many exactly. romantic. And this one is godly. It's in God's word. Exactly. Go look for some romantic King right, Solomon. I would even advise the guys mm-hmm. to go by this touching thing. Very if you important. don't want to talk much. Don't try. Touch her respectively. Go for the action. Exactly. Yes. Touch her respect- respectively. Yeah. That's it. Touch her. And you don't have to say unnecessary mm-hmm. things. Even say, can I have a senior? Yeah. You can have a senior. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what this same stylish camper came back and said i'm sure they will agree immediately no we won't, no, we won't agree we anything won't. No, we no, look no, like no, farms no, no. we won't i'm not we farm. won't agree immediately okay so let's move on to next one and this one is topo cart he says with my girlfriend if i'm horny i just kiss her passionately out of the blue i love there, that watch her respond exactly if she answers with another passionate kiss i continue if at some point she starts doing another thing or gives me a non-passionate kiss like a small kiss followed by a kiss i just stop there this guy is smart yeah he knows how to read a room exactly some people do not know how to read a room at all I mean, you've kissed her passionately, and she comes back to just give you a peck and smile cutely. You should know that this girl. Uh, but sometimes, sometimes maybe there is something that uh, we spoke about that. Yes. That, that day. Last week. Yeah, she wants a push. Yeah. Yes. You know, but there are some men too. When they are with their woman, the moment they know that their woman is coming over, they're hard. Have you ever experienced that before? Just the voice of your man turns you on like you're wet. So by the time you go home. Yeah, like come here, baby. Okay, hey, it's, I've not really spent much time with the man. Oh, okay. unfortunately, you know, uh, <clears throat> I don't want to say much. Don't say much. <laughs> unfortunately, yeah, discussing sex, respect, no, unfor- respect unfortunately, respect, yeah. my kind of men that, you, okay. that I've been with are not men who really have my time. Okay, to even 
have that sweet dog you know why you like businessmen not necessarily men that are uh, i love busy. money so exactly. my should be busy making you know money. the businessmen uh, Yes, yeah, so yeah, when it comes to certain things, I cannot relate. I'm talking to see, see, I have never. But when I'm watching that, these yeah. movies, it's everything. Yeah, I to always, me. I also like businessmen because yeah. I mean they are focused in life. They know what they want, and if they are with you, I'm telling you, they know that they want you. Really I think cool. when it comes to these things, uh, as a woman, if you want your peace of mind, if you want to be happy in marriage, know what you want, know, know what you are made of, know yourself, and know that this is not for me. me I, I, can, I can I can be with a man <laughs> who will stay away. I always say I might not be able to even stay in the same house with my, yeah. my husband because yeah. that's what I'm made of. Mm -hmm. So, if you're also the type who is clingy, I yeah. yeah. said clingy. Yeah, clingy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> who is this? There are some men they are not for you. Yeah. Like that's pastors, true. politicians, businessmen, they are not for you. You will end up cheating. So, mm. no, there's a no peace. Okay, so <laughs> there's more interesting one. Uh -huh. This one says, assume the courting position, then proceed with the ceremonial mating call. You know, birds. I give up. When, <laughs> when birds want to mate, there's a there's some sort of dances. Or, I've not seen birds. I have. <laughs> okay. I have. Okay. And so, someone replied, that, oh, like a boar bird. Mm -hmm. And then someone went ahead to say, Simple, how far, babe? Open your I want, I want what? I want knock. How far, babe? Open your I want knock. Like, crassini. Let me use that word. Crassini. But how you far, see, babe? Hey, it works for some people. See, there are no some. I, I was telling somebody mm -hmm. this. There are some relationships, it's so beautiful that they are buddies. Like, mm -hmm. they vibe, they, they vibe like, like that, that kind of thing. Yeah. So, for a man to come and be like, babe, I want knock. Yeah. It's, it's simple it's okay for them but yeah. a woman like you oh i mean me kind of to speak get, uh, my kind of nah. man will not come I and tell me i want to knock no nah. he won't say that no. exactly no, no 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 i don't no, no. think he's i don't even want to be with a man who speaks no 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 hey no. me i'm a camera for say ace 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 <laughs> so that's just by the way so yeah i think with these kind of responses yeah. it depends on how the relationship is that's true yeah so this one says that as a married man, um, as a married guy, I find most of the time it involves one or the other looking over at, at the other, making eye contact, and then sex in a silly voice seems to work. Then this one also goes ahead to say that we say that we have washed recently and that the other person should also wash. Mm -hmm. Then maybe we can fuck. It works about 80% of the time. The rest of the time, it's taken as just good advice being given out. You know what? That oh, go and bath is a cue, especially if your partner, your married or your husband or wife knows that it's a cue for you guys. Oh, go and bath. It means that some canilingos, you know, canilingos wants to go on. To go on. So it's a cue, as she said. It can be that it's a it's an advice. Your yeah. partner can take it as an advice, and oh, he he or she wants me to go and bath. But most often, it could be a cue that something canilingos. It's about to happen. If you know you, kind of if, you, if you have a yeah. man like mine, he'll go in bath and come and sleep. <laughs> I'm telling you. So this one also said, I knock at the door when my partner is showering and yell, I join all. Oh. And if he's at his decks, I yell, a Nigerian yeah, handle. Yeah. And if he's at his, his decks, I yell, are you on Discord? And if not, sex? And sometimes I am sad that we haven't had sex. And I tell him I'm sad because there's no sex for a long time. <laughs> have you seen this video i cannot concentrate i'm not happy at work in fact you're always anytime, in a bad mood exactly i have a friend anytime she says she's in the mood she'll just send that thing to her husband <laughs> i can't concentrate i'm not happy when i go to work i don't talk to anybody in fact i'm not happy and the man has always been looking at it from the angle of my wife sending me a joke. Oh, but he didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know. He didn't know. Oh my god. Oh, he didn't I know. Know. oh but you know what? Mm. Sometimes um, so let's let's bring it home. We are done with the comments. Mm -hmm. But as I said, the eye contact, you know. From the eye to the lips, from the lips to the eye, that back and forth. And then you can just grab, be bold. You know, I think you should be bold. But if you're married, you should have some cue. Like that, go take a bath. Yeah. And oh, anyways, you should, I, touching, I, 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 which I, I, I is very important, right? Yes. Yeah. When she's on the bed, mm -hmm. 
grab her from behind. I always say that there are some things when you start, the woman will behind. not stop you. Yes. Grab her from behind. Touch her affectionately. Oh. Like, pull her closer to you. Skin yeah. to skin. Squish her. Like. Skin to skin. I mean, have you heard of that one? I'll talk her through it. Yes. Talk her through talk it. Her through say it. those exactly. naughty things. Exactly. Work there on her mind. <laughs> Episode two. Yes. <laughs> So there are some things when you oh do, God. irrespective yeah. of how angry mm -hmm. the woman is, not in a good mood whatsoever, she mm. will be on the same island with you because that is the mood in the room mm. at that particular moment. Exactly. So there are some things as a man, you should, as a woman, it's not for the men alone, the women too. Yeah. You should know your man. Please, let's, let's, let's get it going. Mm -hmm. Let's know ourselves. When you want it respectively, mm. know what to do. Yes. Get close. Kiss him. See, everybody loves to be kissed on the neck. But please, brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, honestly. Hi. Brush your teeth. <laughs> Because sometimes she wants to kiss you or he wants to kiss you, but that morning breath, brush your teeth before you go to bed. I give up. Brush your teeth. I give up. Ahima, let's talk about it. See, it's very important. Brush your teeth. But you know that. Mm -hmm. There are some people who do not care about that. Ew, then, then you have a problem. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, then you have a problem. You, you should care about Brush your teeth. Some of us, we are blessed. When we wake up in the morning, we have good breath. Breath. Because yeah. you know what? We do oil pulling. Do you know oil pulling? No. Teach today them. today is not about Harry, <laughs> breath. <laughs> they are asking for sex respectively. It all comes yes. in. So oil pulling is using coconut oil to swish in your mouth. Like swish for like 20 minutes before you brush. It breaks down the cavities and the plaques in there and helps your teeth, you know, shine. Look at my teeth. I'm smiling. Morning rash. Yes. Morning rash. <laughs> So when you do that before going to when you wake up, you don't even have bad breath. Bad you breath, can yeah. go ahead and kiss your partner aggressively and you can get that morning sex. I hear it's very nice. Some of us with no experience. God, I've been posting this on my status. God, am I not your child? Am I a rag? God. <laughs> so you can ask for sex, but yes. in a more respectful Be, way. Yeah. And then these are some of the things we've come from. Exactly. Discuss, so. I know what. So you know, we've wrapped up with the uh, topic for today how to ask for sex, uh, sex respectfully and we've looked at the comments and we've given our opinions as well let's bring you back home to God and there's this pastor who is given the difference between a girl a lady and uh, let me get it correct lady and a, wife. a girl a lady and a wife mm -hmm. there's definitely a difference so let's take a look at this video okay. when you are a girl your priority is your looks. That's what puberty taught them. So you come to the mirror, you discover you have some peculiarities. And so you see them, they want to show people. They are all over the place because they are girls. You know the problem of many women, they never grow from girls. So the lady is 35, she's still a girl. That's why you see ladies naked in society. Because all the value they have is their body. They so clothed, their whole chest is exposed. Their whole legs are exposed because they are still girls. A girl has her powers in her body but you must grow from the level of a girl to become a lady a lady's strength is not her body it's her mind because she has something to add to society but there are many empty-headed girls in society moving around with makeups eyelashes mascara foundation naked and have nothing to offer society you meet them every time they think it's all about their body and the zenith of their value is their body and so they because that's all they have to offer. If they want to make hair, somebody sleeps with them. If they want to buy a phone, somebody sleeps with them. Because they have nothing to offer. And so they throw their body all over the place. And they think life begins and ends with looks. But when you grow from a gear, you become a lady. Your strength is your mind. If somebody talks to you, you engage the person mentally first. You can't just walk up. No doubt can just walk up and approach such a person. When you greet her, what's your name? I'm interested in you. Where are you going to? If you can't explain your vision and your future for her, you can't even sit with her on the same table. That's a lady. And society is in dire need of ladies. He being a man of God, God yes. I want to respect him yes. for being a man of God. But with what he's saying, it's his opinion. opinion. I know, let's take a look at this proposal video. Mm. 
I mean, proposals are nice. So let's take a look at this one. As this man proposes to his wife. To Have you never proposed to before? No. I'm sorry. Oh, I hope I don't lose you. Mm. Please stay. I want you, I need you, oh God. Don't take this Beautiful proposal. I literally have goosebumps, and I think the song they use, Benson Boom, Beautiful Things, is one of my favorite songs. So this one, there's a kiss come. That's why you saw the lady kiss the the gentleman. So when the come falls on you, you have to kiss whoever is beside you. And then she kissed him, and while the come the come is still on on them, he pulls out a ring. Ah. Oh. And you could tell the lady was so happy. I and I learned Linda Bazalaki. Yeah. Will you marry, marry me? me? Yes, it was, it was on the calm. Yes, it was on the calm. Oh my god. So yeah. But Harry, you see, I always say that men should go the extra mile. I'm telling to you. make it up to women. Yeah. Sometimes even when you wrong the lady, mm -hmm. she has some some sort of things in her mind mm -hmm. to look at that to forgive you. Yeah. That's look true. at how the man even proposed to yeah. me. The angle. Yeah. The extra mile. Yeah. He I'm sure there you have to pay. Exactly. With the, the, the tag and, and everything. you weren't even about the, the proposal. Yeah. But what the man the is effort. supposed to go through. The effort. To so even propose yeah. to you. It's beautiful. I hope one Such day. marriage cannot just break if the woman is wise. Yes. If my husband, my boyfriend, babe, we're looking at this. If you do this for me, I'm going to love you forever. Tonight, we gave you tips on how to ask for sex respectfully. So please keep the kids away from your TV, especially if they are way, way, I mean, young. They are not supposed to watch today's episode. It's been exciting and educational. So yeah, boo and baby, we, we, we bring you everything some. Yes, something excitement, ex uh, educational, and sex appeal as well. Two beautiful ladies, we came your way on Metro TV. My name is Harriet Addy, and I did this with... Ajua Ahimewa, in fact, the queen of all queens. I was waiting for that. And the other queen is fake. I leave the following. Yeah, bye! bye. <laughs>